Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You know who I am. Um, my name is Winter Phoenix, and today we're going to be doing another episode of Harvest Moon 64. Hey. Why don't you enter the local horse race tomorrow? I think you'd do pretty good. I'll enter? Good, I'll help you get the horse ready in the morning. Well, goodbye. See you later. Here comes Stu. Yoo-hoo, brother. Brother, I heard you got a cow. When did you get it? That's great. Let me pet it next time. Hey, brother. How are your cows? Say, aren't you supposed to let them out in the pasture? See you! Okay, so tomorrow is the horse race, as Doug just explained. So we will quickly take care of our crops. Um, today we're going to be finishing the bridge. Um, so we're going to do our chores. We're also going to try to get pokery at a pink heart. We'll take care of Moo. And then we'll quickly take care of the chickens. And I'll show you guys a trick with the bridge later. Um, when we go foraging, it's just a quicker route so you aren't wasting so much time forging. So hopefully we'll be able to, in the winter, fill up our barn with cows. Um, I don't think we'll be able to beat the horse race today. I think the only way to do it is with a stamina carrot. It gives your horse extra stamina. I think our stamina is just low, but we'll see. I'll do the best that I can. Um, and it's okay if you do lose in the horse race because next year, um, you still have two more tries to win the horse race, which is spring and fall. So if you guys don't win within the first year, don't worry about it. I do highly suggest that you get the stamina carrot so that way your horse has more stamina so it can win. It helps out a ton. All right, we're going to quickly run over and finish the bridge today. There you are. I've been waiting. Work ends at three. Will you help? Thanks. It's a really big help. Hit this with a hammer. My hammer is so much bigger than that other carpenter's. And it's completed. Okay, it's done. Here's your pay. You did a pretty good job. Thanks for your help. Finished. Finally. This is a great bridge. Thanks for your help. Now we can all go up the mountain. So you guys have to complete this quest if you want to get the picture for the from the Carpenters, the Hot Springs picture. You have to do the bridge and the Hot Springs event. We're going to quickly run up and see if we can find Potpourri to give her a gift to, to try to get her heart to a pink level. She's not inside, so hopefully she is just outside. If not, she may be in the springs and she's outside, so awesome. I hate when you have to like run all over the place trying to track them down. Um, she's just talking about how she was born on the spring festival again. I'm not gonna repeat it because I've repeated it so many times. I guess we'll quickly go forage real quick and get some more wood. We're going to need more wood and more money for upgrading the house, buying animals for the barn, all that stuff. We still have to get the kitchen and the bathroom, the terrace. There's so much still we have to upgrade, so wood and money, guys. Um, here in just a minute, I'll show you our uh, trick for getting... So if you cross the bridge over here and you jump down, it just saves you a little bit of time. And that is our trick for foraging. Little fox frolicking in the meadow there. Gotta get up as much wood as we can. We still have enough space for these two items. 
And then we'll quickly run over here and grab the last mushroom. We'll go home and sell all of these and then call it a day on this day. Plants, I forgot. Because we need all the money we can get. Gotta grab some water. It's quicker in here. And we shall call it a day. Okay, so today we're gonna quickly do our chores and then we will run to the horse races. I don't have enough money to bet on all the horses to try to get the sustaining carrot, so we won't have it this time, so I doubt we will win, but I will do the best that I can. Um, we're just gonna quickly take care of our crops. Looks like our potatoes are grown and our one turnip is grown. I can see over there. So we'll quickly sell all of these and take care of our plants. I'm gonna plant um, our other bag of turnips since that plot is empty. Replant what you can to keep getting money in. You're gonna need it. Year two will be focused on all the other villagers. Um, and I really hate how, like, Potpourri's, like, the last one to get. I, I feel like you should get all of the girls' hearts events in the first year, but it's just impossible on this one. Like, it'd just be nice if they had set it that way, where you can get all the girls' heart events in year one, so you can focus on all the villagers in year two, um, and get a wife and a kid. Because I just get nervous doing Potpourri's heart, or picture event, pink heart event, and not... Um, focusing on getting a wife, like I'm worried about getting a wife and not being able to get her event because I'm married, but I know it's not true, so I mean they have to have a way where you can get everything. Alright, let's take care of our tricky birds. race. It's almost winter. It's fall 28th. We're getting so close. I'm just gonna save real quick and then we're gonna go bet on some horses and I'm going to bet on the more likely horses to win, but um, that's not always guaranteed. So the two best horses to bet on are going to be Yasume and Tatami, and then the next one's Ojaki, um, and Tinjen is going to be the least likely one to win, so I'm going to place most of my medals on Tatami and Yasuma, and the least amount of medals will be put on Tinjen. Anaki will go a little higher. Pickles I kind of want up there too because the horse is kind of more likely to win as well. Okay, I'm just going to pick out a couple more places to put these last few metals. Try 60. Let's see where 60 puts us on Tatami and Yasuma. Okay, so we'll be 63 on both of these. 
Intention isn't likely to win, but I'll just put the last medal on that horse. And then we wait. And the first horse race is about to start, so the wait, wait wasn't too long on this one. Sometimes in between these waits are a little bit long. The horse with the blue rider looks like Cliff, but the horse's name wasn't Cliff, it was named Pickles. And looks like Pickles won, so... I think we put 40 on that horse. Yep, Pickles won. Second to Tommy, so... Ooh, so close. Um, so we got 240. That was good, so we're just gonna run out here and... Place more bets. Sakura and Brocco are the two most likely horses to win on this one, so we'll put the highest amounts on them. The least amount is Guard and Tio. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And then Melody. third horse race. So a couple differences from Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town and more Friends of Mineral Town to the Harvest Moon 64. You cannot bet on your horse on the Harvest Moon 64, but you can on both Game Boy Advance versions. And also on the Game Boy Advance versions, you get a power berry if you win the horse race, but you only get a photo on the Nintendo 64. FYI. All right, I'll be happy with that. We'll put one on Brocco too. There we go. I may just run around in a couple circles here to waste a little bit of time waiting in between races. Love the music though. The second race is about to start. All participants should come to the gate. All right, second race. are Brocco and Sakura. So the two that we bet on won 61 medals. So yeah, I believe the sustaining carrot is either 500 gold or 1,000 gold medals, and we are not going to have that today. So participants are not allowed to buy tickets. So we are in this last race. So I don't think that we're going to win, but I'm going to try. And then next year, we'll make sure we have enough money for the sustaining carrot. I used to think the swimming festival was hard. And that the horse race was hard, but... I don't know, the... Swim festival isn't too bad anymore. I can win that one every time. It's the horse race now I struggle with. Press the A button to run fast, but be careful because your stamina declines fast too. Not joking there. So I'm gonna try to keep it mellow and then at the end, press the button and try to speed up past everybody, but we're already kind of losing and my stamina is already in the middle. Now we're out of stamina. So yeah, the stamina goes quickly. They're at the finish line. The winner's not us. First place, Poyano and Star. So, sorry guys, I tried, but just couldn't do it. That's the end of the horse races for today. Please exchange your medals for gifts. Um, that'll be next time, too. So, I'm just going to run home, water our eggplants, because we did not water them this morning. I was kind of concerned with um, getting to the horse races in time. And we just barely made it anyway, like you've seen how short of a time period we had to wait for the first horse race, so 
I'm glad we skipped out on that. So we'll just go do that real quick. You're gonna wanna water your crops if you want more money. So, need all the money we can get. We already have the music box. We're just waiting for Rick to open up to fix it before we can give it to Potpourri again. But yeah, I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate you all. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe. It means so much to my channel. It also keeps my channel going. Winter Phoenix out. Have a wonderful evening, everybody.